all anyone wants to do is see Chucko. Well, look, we've had some great receptions this year at races that we've done, but uh, coming into the circuit this morning, outside the hotel, you know, when we arrived at the airport last night, I mean, the Mexicans, they love Formula One and they certainly love Checo. So, uh, you know, we're delighted to have a Mexican driver in our car this year. And uh, I hope, you know, with both drivers, we can put a great show on. In recent races, he seemed to have turned a bit of a corner, seemed super comfortable yeah. with the team. Big expectations from him, even with our little slip in FP1 today? Well, I think it's important not to put too much expectation on. It's always that temptation at your home race to push that a little bit harder. And I think, uh, you know, we've tried to keep the build up pretty measured for him and uh, uh, not put, you know, too much expectation that I'm sure he's putting on himself. So, um, uh, you know, home races are tough for any driver and, um, you know, we'll do our best to support him through that. Now, a lot of the chatter this weekend is going to be, what if Checo's in P1 and Max is in P2 and you've got some big decisions to make? Well, first of all, you've got to get in that position. So it'd be a, be a beautiful headache to have, uh, first of all. But again, what you've got to remember is it's a team sport and there's two championships that we're fighting for and it, there's so many permutations that that depends on. Um, so, uh, you know, we'll deal with it as and when. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, our objective is to do the best we can with both drivers. Good luck this weekend. Thank, Thank you. you. It feels good. The car seems to be fast. So far, everything is okay. And quite a good performance in FP1. You must be thrilled with that. A lot of talk about the Honda power unit really helping you. Does that seem to be true on the data? Yeah, we must see uh, what's going on tomorrow in the qualifying. Yeah? FP1 is one story, but then in the qualifying, we will see because uh, I expect that uh, Mercedes, Ferrari, also, Renault will have reacted to what happened in the past. Maybe they changed something on the software side, whatever. And uh, we just must wait until tomorrow because in the qualifying, all the power unit manufacturers show uh, their cards. And then we will see where Honda is. But I'm quite optimistic and confident that uh, the power unit from Honda is uh, performing well. And in terms of the challenges this track um, creates and gives you, how did you find that first session? Uh, speaking to others, it was quite an odd session to read. Yeah, it's, as we always know here in Mexico, the first 10, 15 minutes are always difficult because the track is really green, was very dusty, as we could see. And um, that's important to tell to the drivers, just get the feeling for the track, come into the rhythm, what the track offers you and um, don't risk too much at the beginning because there's not much grip level out there. And then from uh, minute to minute, from run to run, it's getting better. And at the end of the session, the track was in quite good conditions. And um, currently, I must say that um, our car performs well. And uh, I expect that uh, both cars on Sunday should be in the points. And then if we have a little look uh, behind you, of course, Laura Rossi from Alpine, the battle between uh, yourselves and them. In terms of race pace, you think you've got it on them on Sunday then? Difficult to say. You know, uh, Alpine is a very, very strong team and they have two fantastic drivers with Alonso and with Ocon. And um, I just hope that we can find a better setup that we can make our car faster and that uh, we are in front of them, but it will become a very, very tough fight. Well, good luck with that fight. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.